What's up, Boom Beach players? I'm Jammer Hammer, and today we're gonna knock out Dr. T with some of my favorite troops, the Grenadas. The Grenadas, as you can see, they're maxed out, and my medics are also maxed out. The only troop I have left to upgrade would be the Cryoneers, and as you can see, they got 15 hours left. I have no statues boosted, and let's get started on crack a on some Dr. D, baby! Boom! All right, so we're gonna just deploy the troops to the right and let them go to town on that Hammerman idol and bust it off. Bust it off. Now, on, on using Grenaders, they're by far my favorite troop. And the reason why they're my favorite troop is because they just blow up everything. I just love explosions. Now, when using the Grenaders, I've tried to make a video where I use the least amount of Grenaders, but the problem is uh, you end up making really, really long videos because you really just have to deploy all your Grenaders and let them wreak havoc. That's just the best way because one sniper tower gets on them, um, and they end up just falling short and just dying really quickly and you really don't want to lose any troops when using the grenaders and so yeah so we're just blowing stuff up baby blow it up we're on the left wing here and I throw some critters blow up the mines take out that sniper tower and then just kind of let them do what they want and let him go to free range on the DT base. The Dr. Terror base. Um, like I said before, I would really wish, I really wish Supercell would extend the levels on Dr. Terror. Ooh, do you see that? A crystal baby on stage two. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I, I was really, I really would like Supercell to extend the gameplay on the Dr. Terror bases because I don't ever have to boost anymore. I just need one Masterpiece Troop Health, one Masterpiece Troop Damage, and one Masterpiece Gumbo, and I never have to boost. Um, and I can always beat Dr. Terror Stage 1 through 7. So I, I was hoping that if they did like Stage 8, well, obviously, if they increase the gameplay level difficulty, you know, how they do on stage one to two, five to six, six to seven, then I was thinking that stage eight, you'd have to have more statues and or boost the statues you have just to cover and beat the game. Uh, that would have been really cool for Supercell to go ahead and do that, and they, they still can. I hope they do it in the next update. Um, and the next update, I'm assuming, should still be on par from what my last video, um, which would be uh, October 16th, 17th, I think that's what it was. So yeah, so can't wait for that to happen. That's in two more months. Long way away for me anyway, right now. Um, but uh, so yeah, so look at these grenaders, man. So now we're just gonna flare these bad boys to the left, stay away from that boom cannon in the south, and just let them go on that uh, flamethrower. So what you gotta be careful of is even though your grenaders can outrange the cannons, a lot of times when you bunch them up, you see how they tend to just like wanna, like the first ones are out of range, but then when the, the, the stragglers behind, when they start running up and catching up, they're like, oh, make some room for me, let me get in front. So then they get in front and then they die from the stupid cannon. Um, so yeah, so you want to sometimes go ahead and shock the cannon just to make sure it doesn't get any of your troops. So far we haven't lost any troops. And we're really going bang tame boogie town on this one, baby. Uh, so yeah. So look at them just clear out a carve out a little spot, and yeah, so that's just about it for that. Looks like this Dark Terror base is going down easy peasy, no questions asked. Like sweet hope Alabama American Pie! I have no idea what I'm talking about, but the Grenaders cleared stage four. So now we're going on to stage five. 
and it appears as if we have a boom cannon in the front to the left and a boom cannon in the back. We're not going to take care of that boom cannon just yet because I think we can critter that down uh, later on. So we're just going to take out the little, the little boxes. What? I wonder what's in those boxes. What would they have in those boxes? Uh, they're just like boxes laying around on the base. That's making any sense. But I guess they're supply boxes. So they got GBE in there. Anyway, so make sure to shock those sniper towers if you're using grenaders because both of them together will take out a troop instantaneously. Uh, so yeah. So there they go, clearing up the mines behind it. And then we just reflare to the right and probably want to shock that madness of three mortars and sniper tower. The sniper tower will be in range once your straggling troops catch up. So that is the end of that. And this one mortar doesn't really do enough damage to hurt anything. And we took out the boom cannon in the back. And now we have free range and won't get hit by anything all the way over to the right. And uh, here's the trick. So if you're gonna use critters on anything and using grenaders, make sure to have uh, your grenaders a little bit closer. It kind of really doesn't matter. Just make sure to have the uh, critters drop them where your troops are and let them naturally spread to the HQ or whatever building you're dropping them on. And what that'll do is your grenaders won't blow them up. You don't want them to blow up your own troops. So stage six, there's a lot of sniper towers and cannons and the mines and the machine guns and just a whole lot of buildings all together. Uh, but fortunately, everything's kind of uh, set in the back behind flamethrowers and machine guns which really don't affect us at all. So we're able to clear everything out. Um, that that little cannon needs to go down and get it just in time. Boom! Got that sucker. We got it. Okay, now after we clear this uh, machine guns, I think we need to flare to the left a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and now we just be careful. The rocket launchers are low enough level to where they're not going to hurt us. And we will able to sustain damage from them. Now, I think we went ahead and shocked the sniper tower and the boom and the little cannon in the back because, like I said before, two sniper towers, even though they're low level, can take out your troop fast because it's double the damage. Anyway, so we reflare to the left again, and now we're just trying to take out the uh, cannon and sniper tower with the uh, grenades. Grenade it. I think we're gonna have to shock all that madness. Yes, we are. Um, so we're just gonna let the troops do their thing and blow stuff up. Uh, and now I need to reflare. Oh, no, actually, I don't think so. Um, oh, geez. Okay, the snapper tower didn't get us. And I think we're okay. Let's just reflare, group them back up, and now to shock the shock launcher. So that way we can blow everything up. Cause I think even that boom can, yeah, even that boom can is, is in range of the grenades. Look how far that is. That's like that is a that is really freaking far. But anyway, so yeah, so if you just copy this attack using grenades, I'm sure you could get the same thing done if you had. Let's see, my grenades are maxed. I don't know what max. I think max level is 22. So. If the max level is 22, you could probably use Grenaders 19 and then just boost your uh, boost your GBE and your just boost your statues. Boost them, I'm sure you can knock it out. Especially if you have extra guardian statues. You should be able to knock it out. Okay, so here now we're just gonna on stage seven. So far we haven't lost a troop yet. It's pretty impressive so far for myself. Typically, I'll lose a, at least like two or three grenaders at this point from all the sniper towers. Uh, but we took out the shock launcher because the shock launcher hurts when you got a sniper tower. So we're just gonna go and flare onto the sniper tower, shock it, and smoke from that cannon because that cannon will hurt. 
Now we got a lot of mess going on here, and I think that my troops are out of range, I think, from the sniper tower. I don't know, but we're we're out of so much is going on right now. Okay, so we're staying away from the left side, and we're just gonna focus on the right side because the HQ is right there. If you beat stage six, I'm sure you can beat stage seven. It's just a lot of stuff. And this is what is great for the Grenaders. Um, I think Supercell has made the Dr. Terror bases more anti-tank lately because I think everybody's using tank medic. So I've been finding out that using grenade medic, two boats of medic, the rest boats grenade, um, a lot of people aren't using them as much because everybody on YouTube said they suck. But I've been destroying Dr. Terror bases with grenaders and a few medics because they're not being designed around uh, by anti-grenaders. They're more, most of the bases are anti-tank. But I think you can be uh, Dr. Terror stage uh, today or even yesterday uh, all the way through with tank medics uh, today. I don't know about yesterday. There was some, I don't know, I don't know what I used yesterday. But anyway, we're pretty much clearing everything out, making a car, and if I take out that rocket launcher, I can drop critters in the front as usual. Boom! See? And none of my grenaders are taking them out because they're all in the front. And that's how we like it. But that stupid mortar is taking out my... And we have a minute left. Oh, we, we got this. Done! How many? We lost no troops. You see what I'm talking about, boys? Not boosted. No troops lost. Holla at your boy. Your boy cleared out stage one through seven. That's how we do it. We got a guaranteed crystal. No surprise there. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Dr. T went down. Wah, wah. And I guess I'll see you guys later in the next video. Adios, muchachos. Peace.